Hi, Mark here from miecctv.co.uk. Thank you for joining us today for this video tutorial. Uh, this video tutorial will cover two main things. The first is enabling the virtual host within your MVR. If you do this, what it will enable you to do is access the IP cameras plugged directly into the MVR, and this way you can access their configuration. And on the back of this, what we're going to show you how to do is make adjustments to the white light setting on the color view cameras. First, before we get into it, make sure you smash the like button on this video. It really helps us on YouTube. And if you're into these kind of things, make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell notification and you'll be notified every time we release a new video. So let's get into it though. Firstly, what we're going to need to do is open up a web browser. Once you've got a web browser up and open and loaded, what you need to do is go to the IP address of your NVR. Once you've accessed the NVR, you can use your usual administrator login credentials just to log in. Once we've logged in, we want to go to the configuration tab at the top. Once we're into the configuration, we need to click on network. And under network, we need to go to advanced settings. Now along the top here, we want to select other. Once we've selected other, we'll see a tick box here, which is enable virtual host. Now this is what we need to tick to gain access to the IP cameras that are plugged directly into the MVR. Once this is ticked, we can click on system on the left hand side and we can go down to camera management and then we can select IP camera. Now on the right hand side, you'll see each of the cameras now has their own hyperlink. Now this hyperlink will take you directly into the camera so you can manage it. So what this effectively does is allow it to pass through on different ports. If it's camera one, it's port 65001. We're going to go into camera four, so it's port 65004. You click that hyperlink and then log in. What we'll now show you how to do is make any adjustments to the white light on the color view camera. So once you've logged into that camera, you can go into the configuration of it. And across the top, you can see there's an option that says external device. If we click here. Now you have the top option, which is to enable the supplementary light. Uh, the second option down is the brightness. You can either have this automatically and set a maximum brightness, or you can manually set the brightness of your white light. Your other option is whether you have the white light automatically come on when it gets dark enough or you can set it on a schedule so you can have a certain time when the light comes on and a certain time when the light comes off. Now those are all the settings that you can play around with with the white light. Make sure you click the save button to make sure they're saved to the camera. But you can also use this method to make a number of other changes to the configuration on the cameras that are plugged into your NVR. This completes this video tutorial, it's just a quick one for today. Don't forget, if this video helped you out, leave a comment down below and remember, make sure you smash the like button and if you hit subscribe and hit the little bell notification you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. Thanks again for watching.